few years ago, the only way to get these motors, well at least for me, was basically stripping old cell phones or pages, largely pages really, and pulling this out. And there's a video on a pulley puller which I made to pull these um, eccentric weights off and essentially make these useful for small projects. Um, now these things are about 30 cents US a piece on uh, eBay and they're not bad at all. So essentially, um, I'm going to test up one of these. I have my meter here and what I'm going to check and see is if I could get how much current per LED pulls. Now this is 1.5 to 3 volts. Um, let's see. Computer power supply, I have 3.3 volts. We're going to run with that. And they vibrate fairly excessively. So let me just put this on. Let me see if I can do this while we actually film in. That is a little bit. Right, having stopped and put it in. You can see how much that's beating up that's quite excessive so it is fairly aggressive what i want to see is how much current is being pulled and can we even use this with an arduino now <laughs> i'm testing at 3.3 and the next problem that you've been trying to use this on arduino is arduino is going to pull 5 volts which means more current again uh yeah more trouble um i don't think it can be um, but let's see Seems I need the light to actually see the LCD screen. I put on the backlight, it's not bright enough, it's daytime. So I need the light to see the screen. So everybody's set up now. Um, well, negative, positive, doesn't matter. Coming in, positive going through, coming through. So let's put it on, let's see. Right, it's jumping a lot, so it's on. 240 ME. And it's dropping because that is warming up uh, and the resistance is increasing. Oh cannot be done on an Arduino without putting a transistor to basically put in or solid state relay or ordinary relay or some other method of basically direct import to this but directly off of a micro no you're not going to get 250 ME on a pin so yeah assumption was correct but well, just to document what it's taking what it's pulling at 3.3 volts um, maybe it's better to run it at a little bit lower voltage and see what in fact let me test it at um that would be 1.7 volts because i can take the 5 volt rail on the computer power supply and take the 3.3 and the difference in that is 1.7 volts so let me see at 1.7 how much am we getting i'm putting this on now it will be negative because i was too lazy to switch around the um whole things so we can see it is jumping a lot less 120 ME. Again, still way too high, but at 1.7 volts, we get 120 ME. Um, so I need to know what it takes. I know what kind of power it's pulling, how it will drain a battery for future projects. Point of documenting is this is up on YouTube, so I could find it easily, and anyone else could find it without having to go through the effort of testing. 